The U.S. banned its most powerful AI chips to cripple China's tech rise, but instead, it just unleashed a monster. Huawei's new Ascend 910D isn't surviving sanctions, it's dominating. And the numbers? They'll shock you. The U.S.-China chip war isn't just about silicon, it's about who controls the future of artificial intelligence. From smartphones to supercomputers, AI chips decide who leads in data, defense, and global power. When Washington banned NVIDIA's H100 and A100 exports, it expected to freeze China's progress. Instead, Huawei doubled its R&D spending, built its own fabs, and launched the Ascend 910D, an AI processor so advanced it's already powering national-scale clusters across China. Bloomberg and Reuters report that U.S. sanctions may have done the opposite, turning Huawei into the symbol of China's tech independence. And that's why this story isn't just about chips. It's about who wins the 21st century tech war. For years, NVIDIA's dominance looked unshakable. Its H100 and A100 chips powered nearly every major AI breakthrough. But when the U.S. banned those processors from reaching China, the move backfired spectacularly. The sanctions were supposed to cripple Huawei. Instead, they ignited a national tech uprising. Overnight, Chinese engineers shifted into overdrive, fueled by billions in government funding and a race for AI independence. By 2025, Huawei unveiled the Ascend 910D, a homegrown powerhouse built on SMIC's 7 nanometer node, delivering up to 80% of Nvidia's performance at nearly half the cost. NVIDIA CEO Jensen Wang even admitted this year, Huawei might take over China's entire AI market. What began as an effort to contain China is now a global shock, with Huawei's new chip threatening to reshape the balance of power in the world's most critical industry. So what makes Huawei's Ascend 910D such a shock? Built by SMIC on its 7 nanometer N plus 2 process, without access to Western lithography tools, this chip shouldn't even exist at this scale. Yet, it does. According to leaked teardowns and Chinese benchmark reports, the 910D pushes over 500 teraflops in FP16 compute and introduces Huawei's custom FP8 format, giving it up to 80% of NVIDIA's H100 inference performance, while consuming nearly half the power. Each unit draws around 350 watts, compared to NVIDIA's 700. In massive data clusters like Huawei's Cloud Matrix 384, that efficiency compounds, giving China the ability to scale AI models at record speed and lower cost. What started as a workaround has quietly turned into a revolution. The secret lies deep inside Huawei's design. Instead of brute force compute, the 910D uses a unified UB mesh interconnect, capable of 10 terabits per second letting thousands of chips act like one brain. It's less about raw power, more about connection. And here's the twist. Huawei's FP8 format, high F8, processes low precision data with near zero loss, a method even Nvidia is racing to match. Analysts say this architecture favors China's real advantage, massive AI training clusters optimized for cost and energy. In simple terms, Huawei built a chip that plays by different rules, and those rules scale faster than anyone expected. But Huawei didn't stop at the chip. It's building the entire ecosystem around it, from the Mindspore AI framework to Cloud Matrix data centers already training massive models like DeepSeek V3. China's top tech giants, Baidu, ByteDance, Tencent, are now shifting their AI workloads to Ascend-based clusters. Even more impressive, these systems are already beating NVIDIA's NVL72 setups in bandwidth-heavy inference. At 60% of the cost, Huawei just turned sanctions into strategy. And now, it's not just competing, it's redefining the battlefield. But here's the question shaking the global tech scene. What if this isn't just a win for Huawei, but the turning point for the entire AI race? If China can mass-produce chips like the Ascend 910D without Western tools, what happens by 2030? With cheaper AI training and massive state-backed clusters, startups across Asia, Africa, and the Middle East could soon outpace Silicon Valley itself. Huawei's cloud matrix systems are already approaching exascale performance, something once thought impossible without NVIDIA. 
Could this be the moment the world's AI power balance tilts eastward? Or will the U.S. strike back with its next-generation chips before the gap closes? The U.S. chip ban was meant to slow China down, but it may have just accelerated the birth of a new tech superpower. Huawei's Ascend 910D proves that innovation doesn't stop at borders. It adapts, it evolves, and it fights back. With 7 nanometer chips built under sanctions, 384 chip clusters rivaling NVIDIA's best systems, and billions flowing into domestic fabs, China's AI ecosystem is no longer catching up. It's catching fire. The question now isn't whether the West can block China's rise, it's whether it can keep pace. As we enter this new era of digital rivalry, one truth stands out. Chips aren't just hardware, they're the currency of global power. Will the US fight back with its next-gen Rubin and B100 systems, or is this the moment AI dominance begins to shift eastward? Tell me what you think. Is the AI future led by America, or has Huawei just taken the lead?